Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and it's way too early for this, but we are a hockey channel so we have to talk about this. It's way too early. I have to preface that, but today we are taking a look at the 2022 NHL Draft Lottery Odds. So if you're wondering where the Shane Wright sweepstakes may end up, well, there's a chance that it may just end up being your team. So we're going to look at the odds, and at the end, we're going to go over the top players that would be drafted in the top five, the top 10 teams right now that could get Shane Wright and his services, as well as after looking at some of the guys that could be drafted in that top five, top 10, we're also going to take a run at the Tankathon and simulate and see just who wins those two draft lottery spots at the top. So we're going to be going over all of that today. So we used the tankathon.com, the NHL's tankathon.com, a really great website, especially if you're a team that sucks this year. And you know what? As a New York Islander fan right now, I'm kind of in that boat right now with how bad the Islanders have been. But this is more for the for the teams that it, they know it's going to be a long year. It's already been a long year for them. The Coyotes, the Blackhawks, the Kraken, the Canadians, the Senators, probably the Canucks and the Islanders and Buffalo to round that list out. So you look at those teams and you look at their odds of winning the draft lottery. It gets a little bit interesting. So we're going to look at that here. So right now you're looking at the odds of winning the draft lottery. So right now, the Arizona Coyotes, by you flip the coin four times, one of those times, it's going to flip Arizona. One, so if they run this simulation every four times, technically the Coyotes should win that at least once. Okay? So that's what I mean. So looking at their odds, you're looking at the Coyotes' odds. 25.7% chance with the dead last spot. So still, there's no guarantee you get that that pick. That you could thank the you know the oil change oilers from the mid 2000s for that and the mid 2010s for that. 25.7% chance, 18.7% chance, and you know what? With the, all those great odds for them, still more likely than not, the Arizona Coyotes will select third overall. They have over a 55% chance. Of getting that third spot. And that is as far down as they could go at this rate. Um, the Senators have a 12% chance of getting the first overall pick. Uh, the Canadians have a 10% chance. And the lowest odds of getting the first overall pick right now. A team that's actually doing fairly well and could still make the playoffs. And that's the San Jose Sharks. They have just over a 3% chance of getting that draft pick. Now, I, as an Islander fan, start to look at the Islanders. How good would Shane Wright look in the orange and blue? He has just less than a 7% chance of going to the Islanders and pretty much a 7% chance of going second overall. Now, you could say, oh, well, you put those two together. There's a 14% chance the Islanders get the, the first or second overall pick. That's not necessarily how it works. They're separate lotteries for each draft pick. So... Technically, the Islanders could win that draft lottery twice, but if if they won the first overall pick, then obviously you run it again and another team would get it. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Uh, but as of right now, the Islanders look like they will finish either 7th or 8th, 6th or 7th for Vancouver, and you, look, you go further up, and those teams are kind of going to get their draft picks. Now, what's interesting is they have the Blackhawks colored red now i don't know if this is something to do with what happened this year for the chicago blackhawks did they give up their first round pick i'm pretty sure they gave up their first round pick here that's what that is um but very very interesting there to see that i'm gonna assume they get their first round pick removed but at this point i don't necessarily know but they do have the blackhawks you know, colored in red, which makes me assume that they may be the team like Arizona last year that got their draft pick removed. We may see something similar here for the Blackhawks. Again, I don't know for certain. Guys, let me know down below just for certain, especially for my other fans that may be, you know, wondering. Um, so that is something to look at. 
Uh, the Seattle Kraken have a pretty good shot at the top five right now as well, a top five draft pick. Uh, but then there's some other teams that it gets kind of interesting. They could get a fourth or fifth pick. Um, yeah, Pittsburgh, Philly, Vegas, New Jersey, and Dallas. They are all in that conversation. Now, here's another rule that you may not know. The NHL is also unclear about some scenarios in the new lottery rules in which a team can only jump 10 spots. So that's why for Dallas, at you know, considering they're the 11th team, they can only move up to second, the second overall pick. They cannot get the first overall pick. They can only move up to second, and then it kind of goes for these, these other teams as well. Um, but the least odds, basically it is... The Devils of getting the 7th overall pick is a 0.5% chance. So, hey, that means you're going to be drafting in the top. Either You're either drafting 6 or 7 if you're the New Jersey Devils. Um, or just you're not going to get a top pick. That's really what it comes down to. Um, but this is kind of something that this system has definitely been criticized heavily. You know, they almost look at it as like, do what the NFL does. Do where you're the worst team in the league, you get the first overall pick. No lot, no lottery, none of this stuff. Just give them the draft pick. Now, there is something to be said about this because it does make things uh, potentially very interesting and can also cause a train wreck, which some people, again, it's more fun to watch the train wreck than it is the great story. That could be part of the reason for this. And let's be honest, the reason they did this is because they don't want teams tanking. If you're guaranteed the first overall pick for being the worst team in the league, well, you're pretty much you know, enabling teams to be the worst team in the league so they guarantee the first overall pick. And the NHL doesn't want that. And I understand why they don't want that because, well, necessarily getting the first overall pick doesn't necessarily lead to success. Like I said, go back to the oil change Oilers from the mid-2010s. A perfect example. They really are the reason that this rule is here. Let's be completely honest with ourselves. That is what it is. So, with that said, um, definitely interesting seeing the odds here. And I'll leave the chart up here for you guys to take a look. Again, this is all from tankathon.com. A really great site. Okay, so with that out of the way i'm going to stall just a little bit longer for you guys as we pull up the draft pick so now according to the mock draft um the top we're going to go through the top 10 teams so at number 10 is the los angeles kings drafting center right winger brad lambert uh the detroit red wings at nine pick up a russian ivan mirosh Nichenko. So there you go. At number eight is Buffalo. So Buffalo does not get a top five draft pick. That would be interesting. Uh, they'd be drafting at eight. Defenseman from Finland, uh, Simon Nemec. Moving up to seven is the New York Islanders, and they would be drafting a forward here from Nat Magnagorsk of the KHL, Dania Yorav. At number six is the Vancouver Canucks taking from the Winnipeg Ice in the Western Hockey League. Just down the road from, well, it's pretty far from Vancouver, but it's in the same vein. Uh, centerman Connor Geeky. I don't necessarily know if they need a center, though. At number five, this is why. Ah, this is why. Okay. So this is why it was in red. So the Blackhawks did not lose their draft pick. They traded it to the Columbus Blue Jackets in that Seth Jones deal. So that's what this is about. Okay, so see, this is what I'm talking about. We may be in store for a little bit more of a tire fire in Chicago than we were expecting. So Columbus technically would be getting another top five draft pick to add to the top ten draft picks they had from last year. Matthew Savoie from the Winnipeg Ice. So two back-to-back -back Winnipeg Ice draft picks. Is that going to be the top thing this year? Uh, rounding out the top five at four, you've got Seattle selecting another center from the U.S. Uh, development program. you got Logan Cooley. We've heard his name a little bit. And then going into the top three, the Montreal Canadiens with that third overall pick. Do they go with another center? No, it looks like they're going to go with right winger Joachim Kameli. The second overall pick is projected to be Jorage 
Slavovsky, uh, uh, forward from TPS Turku over in the Finnish League. The first overall pick is supposed to be Shane Wright. So, with that said, let's do Tankathon. So, like I said, rounding out the top five, you have the fifth overall pick, the Columbus Blue Jackets, the Seattle Kraken with the fourth best odds, the Montreal Canadiens with the third best odds, the Ottawa Senators with the second best odds, and your Arizona Coyotes with the fir- with the best odds of getting the first overall draft pick. Let's run the Sim Lottery. Okay, okay, okay. So we did see one team move up. Nothing crazy here. The Chicago Blackhawks draft pick to the Columbus Blue Jackets. That stays a top five draft pick. That's number five. Uh, The Blue Jackets draft fifth overall. The Seattle Kraken stay at four. So that means we saw a little bit of a shift up at the top. Number four is the Seattle Kraken. Number three, the Ottawa Senators move down from two to one. The Arizona Coyotes move from 1 to 2. And your Montreal Canadiens with the first overall pick. There was a 10.9% chance they would draft first overall. And according to this, the Montreal Canadiens would be selecting Shane Wright with the first overall draft pick. I know, I can only imagine what Coyotes fans, Kraken fans, Senators fans, probably a little bit upset with that. And Vancouver fans probably as well in in that conversation. Um, but interesting, very interesting to see that. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Where do you think Shane Wright, the next generational talent in the NHL, where do you think he will be drafted first overall in the 2022 NHL draft? Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL and more videos just like this one, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. Guys, Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.